Hello everyone, I started making games because I wanted to make my dream game come alive. I started making the game in Game Maker and it's called Afterworld. It was a story driven RPG based on the book you might know, Dante's Inferno. For that game, I worked on it for about 3 months and decided to launch a Kickstarter for it. For that, I was pretty excited too, thinking that this game can go very far since it had really good story and all the things I wanted to add in the game. I felt that they were great. I wrote around 15 pages of the story and I was anxious to see how people would react to my idea. And after an unsuccessful campaign, the drive to make that game kind of faded away, but it gave me a lot of knowledge on how to promote your games better, and maybe how you need to present your game and story to the audience. Even though your game is good or interesting, that doesn't mean that people would back you on Kickstarter. People need convincing, in a good way, why they would give you their time and money for your idea. I was looking into transitioning into Unity. And very quickly, I got to know the engine, and soon after getting familiar with it, I started to work on another dream game of mine, which is an apocalyptic survival game, where you have to chop trees and use it as currency for buying weapons and upgrading your faction. And since the apocalypse, there weren't a lot of trees around. So you have to make an effort to find those trees and chop them down. I would say I came pretty far with this project because I made everything that I wanted, it just looked like... Uh, it, it looked a bit unpolished. I made a lot of scripts, models and UIs for the game and I was pretty happy with the progress and the things that I learned along the way. But I think the problem began when the project got a little bit bigger and I think my inexperience at the beginning played a big role in this. Everything was very disorganized and I couldn't find the things I was looking for most of the time. And since there was a lot of stuff everywhere, the bugs came and they came in a big way. I couldn't get rid of them, since they were heavily tied to my project, so I would have to delete a lot of stuff. I again started to lose interest in this project as well. And I started my YouTube channel, where I wanted to make weird and interesting videos. Also, I wanted to somehow track my progress in the games that I was creating thinking that would increase my motivation and drive. I gained some motivation to continue the making of the game and after one devlog I lost interest completely. I felt bad for losing interest in this game. I think that a good multiplayer survival game for mobile would do good and it's a nice idea, but when you lose the drive for making things it's really hard to pick it up again. and I decided to shelf my survival game and move on to something else. Since the project didn't take much of my time, I started having fun with Unity and game development in general. I created a puzzle game in 16 hours and I was pretty happy about that. You, you had these levels, you could move, there's a bunch of obstacles like saws, and the UI animations looked great. I made this game without using the internet and I was fired up for more projects. After that, I wanted to replicate an old Flash game that I used to play, the world's hardest game, and, and I made that in 6 hours. I was getting to know the ins and outs of how the projects need to look like in order to be successful. Also, I made that in one line of code and in a notebook, so it was a pretty interesting video to make since everything in it was weird. After that, I was thinking I want another project, I want something that I can go back to while I'm thinking of ideas for other stuff. Something that works like a break from stress that is making interesting content on YouTube. So I started my new and current devlog and it's a racing game slash drift game where you can pick up some pickups and shoot them on other players. It's inspired by Mario Kart. I definitely want to finish this project. Finally being able to finish something would give, give me motivation to do a lot of other things, so I'm gonna hold myself accountable this time and finish this. I want this to be my first game on Steam and damn it, I'm gonna do it. I think the thing that I learned the most in these 6 months was how creating games in a project is a layer thing. It's fine if you know how to code, but to be an indie developer you also need art music, modeling, sounds, and basically everything on your own. You shouldn't go expecting that your dream game will be done in weeks, even months. 
Also, the organization of every project might look like nothing at the beginning, but trust me, once your project becomes bigger and you haven't organized everything, you will have problems. Also, I think that keeping games as simple as possible when you're alone is kind of a good thing for me personally. I hate being stuck and usually when I'm stuck I get very stressed, so I want to keep it simple from now on. And I'm very interested in how the next 6 months of game development will look like for me. I'm very excited to see the progress of my racing game and also to see the progress of my skill as well. I'm really happy with my progress. I think from thinking big and large I adjusted and started to finish a lot more projects and by finishing them I learned the experience of a lot of different stuff. At the end of the day whatever you spend your time on and it's productive you can master. So I'm hoping I improve even more in the next 6 months and I, I can show you even more interesting stuff and weird projects. Thanks for watching this video, subscribe for more content.